Good morning, YouTubers and faithful followers. So I've been toying around a bit on Saturday with this tiny drone, and I've found a good way to uh, pre-flight this thing. What's really important with this drone is getting the trim right. If the trim isn't right, the drone won't hover. It'll go backwards, forwards, and be very difficult to control. So the best way I've found to run this drone, finally, and I've probably flown it about five times, is... First, make sure it's charged and just turn it on here with the switch. And the thing's so tiny that you have to uh, get your fingernail in there. There it is. The drone's going to blink now until the um, control system syncs to it. So turn on the control system here with the middle button. Press it until it beeps. And I'll move this up and down until the drone syncs with the control system. Once that thing is steady, the best thing to do next is do a calibrate. You always want to calibrate this drone. So this will calibrate all the sensors inside so that it really knows it's on a flat surface and all that. So hit a calibrate here, hold it down. The drone will blink a few times and it's calibrated. Now, I found from watching another video that the best channel or the best speed is speed two. So here we'll go speed and we'll say two. And of paramount importance, each drone has a personality of how it's going to go when it's flying. It might be drifting off to the left, drifting off that way. My, my drone drifts off to the left pretty fast, and it drifts off back. So to trim the drone, then, you want to use these trim keys. So if it's drifting off to the, uh, to the front, say, drifting off to the front, you want to hit this button here to counteract that drift, so that'll give it more trim that is, is toward the back of the, of the drone. So I know with mine, I need about five trims. So I'm going to pre-trim this drone. Unfortunately, it doesn't hold the trim when you power off. So five of these trims for the uh, bottom here. And I know when it's drifting off to the right, I got to hit this key about nine times and see if it'll go and trim off here. Okay, so since I'm holding the phone to record this, I probably can't fly this thing with one hand, but let's see what'll happen. I know I can hit the start button. It's going to go up, and I'll bring it right back down. Hopefully it won't fly off and hit something here. Let's see what happens. It went up and down until it hit the stop button. So it didn't really go too crazy. I did see it did go off toward me, so I'm going to hit the trim now back about two clicks here. Let's see what happens here. Okay. One, two. Now we're going to hit the start button again. Start line, start land button, and see what happens here. Okay, well, it's going straight up, and I told it to land, so I'm thinking that this is a trimmed drone. It's not really going around too much and being wild and off kilter. So let's try that once more. I'm going to try the same trim settings and just try and bring it up. The start button in one hand here. There it goes. Let's bring it down. Okay, well, that's probably the most success I've had with this drone without crashing it into something with one hand. So, thanks for watching. For $20 at Fry's Electronics, it's a lot of fun. Of course, the dogs hate it, but that's life. Take care. Have a great day.